Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I want to continue the videos with AR Foundation. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can actually see shadows on transparent planes. I'm going to show you what we need to do on the prefab, what materials we need to create, what shaders we need to add, and I also want to give a credit to the creator of the shader, which I'm going to be putting in the description of the video. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing today, which is to actually add what's called an AR transparent shadow. I had a lot of questions about that, about how we could add a transparent plane. And the planes are going to be generated by the AR plane detection manager. So we're going to be having those planes, but we won't be able to see them. All we're going to see is the shadow. So I want to first also give a shout out to the creator of these, which is this user called Bigolus. He posted a shader in the Unity forum. So I want to say thank you to him for doing that. And I also put the shader in the readme file of the AR Foundation occlusion, which is in my GitHub page. So make sure you look at that. And also make sure that you look at the branch called URP, because that's the one that has the, the code that I'm going to be submitting. So it's called URP occlusion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just adding a new material. So we're going to go here, click on material. This one is going to be the material that we're going to be assigning to the plane. So you can see that I already have a default plane, but in this case, I don't want to show the plane. So I want to just have the material that we're going to be adding, the shader that we're going to be adding to the material. So I'm just going to call it, let's say shadows or plane with shadows. And then what I'll do here, I'll just search for that URP AR shadow receiver. And you're going to see there's not going to be anything. And I'm also going to be testing it. So to test it, it's going to right click in here and go into 3D objects. And then let's go ahead and create a plane. And I'm going to just go ahead and add it as zero so that it's you know sitting right on the bottom. And then it's going to drag and drop the material. And right now we don't see shadows. And the reason for that is because, and I also know that the shader that I'm showing you here, it only it's only supported for directional light. So if you want to use any other kind of light, it's not going to work. So for now, it's just going to be you know using directional lighting. So what we need to do is we need to enable shadows on the shadow type. So I'm just going to go ahead and use hard shadows. But if you wanted to use soft shadows, which are actually going to be more expensive, you can do that as well. For this demo, I think hard shadows is going to work. It's going to work for what we need. So you guys can see that we have a transparent, you know, transparency on everything. If I move it down, you can also see that, which is going to be really, really cool for when the planes start to get generated. So. We know that that works well. So let's go ahead and look at a couple more things. So I'm going to go into my directional light and you can see that the bias is using the pipeline settings. And this is all coming from the URP settings. So if I go here and I click on universal rendering pipeline, you can see that we have more shadows. So if I wanted to change the distance, let's say that I do 10, you can see that the shadows are going to be better because this is in meters. So you want to make sure that, you know, your, your distance, is it small enough to, you know, to be able to handle the settings on an, on an AR application? So I'm thinking, let's try one. And if that doesn't work, we can just go up. So what I'm going to do, you can see that they're actually, they look really good. So I'm going to do, let's go ahead and do five. I think five, five is going to work. If you want to use soft shadows, you can also enable it here. I'm going to keep it simple and just do five on the distance. I think that is, that is really clean. So if I wanted to copy this and duplicate it, you can see that now we have, you know, more shadows in there. And if I want to, let's go ahead and add another prefab. So if I go here and we can just do the gold one too. And then let's just change 000 on XYZ. And it looks like this, this one, it's a little bigger. So we're going to go, actually it's smaller. So we're going to go a little bigger there. And that, that looks good. So we're actually going to use this one for the AR application. And I think, I think that looks good. So as far as shadows, that's really everything that we need to do. So let me go ahead and move this up. We're going to be removing this in just a minute. But the next thing that we need to do is we need to now tell the, the visualizer that we do want to visualize the planes, but we want to use the new material that we have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this and we're going to say visualizer with shadows. There we go. And this one we're going to be changing. So I'm going to double click on it. And you're going to see that it just, just has basically a line render. And, and the reason for that is because it's going to show you the edges. I necessarily don't want to see that. All I want to see is the, the actual mesh, the, the quad that got generated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand materials here. And you can see that this has the default plane material. So I'm going to swap it and I'm going to use this one right here, which is going to be the one that has the shadows. 
And in this case, I really don't want to see the line render. I don't, I don't, in my opinion, we shouldn't be seeing that because it's going to defeat the purpose of having, you know, having it look good. So what I'm going to do actually is we're going to go ahead and remove this. And we're just going to have a, a mesh render, which is going to have the shadows and then there's not going to be edges on the, you know, on the line render that got generated before. So let's go ahead and go, ahead and go back. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove these three objects. And if we go into the air session origin, we should have, you know, or, or actual objects like air session origin, the plane manager, and then the AR Raycast manager, and also the object that we're going to use. We're going to use the gold one. I think, I think that's okay. The lion geo underscore lion goal. And then the next thing that I want to do is this doesn't have a plane prefab right now. So we need to add that. And that's going to be the object that we just created that we duplicated from the AR plane visualizer. So now what this is going to happen is going to basically allow to have shadows by using the material that we had. And then we can just do horizontal planes. I, I don't think we need to do, you know, actually wall planes. We can do it if we wanted to, but I think in this case, I just want to see those. And then the next thing that I'll do is I'll just go into build settings. We're going to be building this for Android, but the scene that I created for that is the one called shadow. So we can just disable the other scene. And then what I'll do, I'll just go ahead and build it and then show you the results. All right, guys, so this is now launching and it builds successfully. So let's go ahead and scan the area and make sure that shadows are going to work. So I think that's working there. I'm going to place a statue right here. And let's see if we have shadows. So it looks like we have shadows on that side. I'm going to place, place one maybe over here. You guys can see that the shadows are working well in there. Let's go ahead and place another one, perhaps right here. And there we go. We can get close. And so I'm going to call it good. I think this was a successful video. If you guys have any questions about this, please let me know. And just know that I'm going to be checking this scene into GitHub. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about anything that I just mentioned in the video, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon site where I'm basically posting early access to source code and also what I'm doing behind the scenes. So that's everything for today, guys. Thank you very much.